Welcome everyone, you may be trying to connect to your Wi-Fi network and you get this message saying additional authentication required. So in order to solve it, first up, open up settings, then click into general, network settings, and you want to find here advanced settings, click into this one, and you're gonna see alternative MAC address, click into this, and then click on clear like so. It will ask you to restart the console, restart the console, and then retry to uh, to connect to a Wi-Fi network. If that works, you're good to go. If it doesn't, move on to the next step. So if that doesn't work, what I recommend you do is try connecting via Ethernet cable to your network. If you are unable to do that, what you're gonna to need to do is instead you're gonna to need to log into your router, and on the router, you're gonna to have to do some stuff. So let me just move over uh, to my screen recording here. And all you wanna do is you just want to go to your router's website. And if you're wondering, uh, how do you get this website? Well, when it comes to TP-Link, you just, you know, go to tplinkmodem.net. If you have another router in your home, what you need to do is go to the back of the router and it will uh, give you the IP address you need to put in uh, to, you know, the web browser. So just put that into your web browser and then you will need to sign in with username and password or just a password and that's usually on the back of the router. Now, if someone else in the, in the, the, you know, the family changed the password, then you'll need to obtain that from them. I'll talk about what you can do if you can't obtain that from them in the bit. So what you're going to do, you're just going to sign in. All right, so once you're in here, basically what you want to do is you just want to find the security tab. So we'll go to advanced, I'll go to security and what we're going to do here is we're going to see the access control. Again, for your router, it will be different. If this is on, you just want to turn this off, right? And the reason why you want to turn this off is because there's a chance your Xbox has been blacklisted. So just turn this one off, then click on save. You most likely need to restart your router, and then that should solve the issue. Now, if you've done all these, uh, you know, options and, you know, nothing's working, the best bet, honestly, is you just use a hotspot when connecting to the Xbox Series S. It's a temporary fix, but it will do the job. So just set up a hotspot or on your phone, and then what you want to do is you just want to go back to the Xbox, and then you just click into the setup wireless network, select your uh, hotspot, and just like that, you're good to go, and you're in the internet. So, again, just keep in mind, if you have unlimited internet, this isn't you know, a great solution, because you're going to be running into roadblocks where stuff isn't going to download, but... You know, it works, I guess, so might as well try it. And, um, yeah, eventually, you know, most likely you can just call up your ISP. They'll sort it out for you. And, um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.